Trump is back at the White House under close watch by doctors there. Uh, there were a lot of critics of his move back to the White House from Walter Reed because um, you know, he may still be infectious. Uh, we're not sure. I mean, there's a lot of questions, uh, especially in the medical community about viral load um, in the past few months with COVID. Um, what is your take on him going back to the White House, uh, you know, pushing to go back to work? Um, are you concerned at all that COVID could still have its grips on President Trump? Well, look, it was obviously very concerning when, when President Trump contracted COVID, when the First Lady contracted COVID. Heidi and I have been lifting them both up in prayer, al along with millions of other Americans, people all over the world that have been praying for them. Um, I'm grateful that, that they both appear to be doing significantly better. Uh, I, I spoke with President Trump last night. I, I called him at the White House short, shortly after he got home and spent about 15, 20 minutes on the phone with him. And I'm just calling to see how he's feeling, how he was doing. And, and I will say I was encouraged. Uh, he sounded strong, he sounded vigorous, uh, he was in good spirits. And, and this ought to be something that unites all Americans that regardless of where you fall on the political spectrum, uh, we should want our president strong and healthy and, and, and fully able to do the very difficult job that, that he has in front of him. Um, I'm glad of that. I, I, I hope he continues to get better. Uh, but, but I also think the task that he has, that the Congress, that all of us have, of continuing to fight this pandemic, which has been very serious, it's cost over 200,000 lives across the country, uh, and at the same time, the restarting the economy, letting people get back to work, letting small businesses reopen, letting people provide for their families, letting kids go back to school. I think all of those are incredibly important and we need to do both, fight the pandemic, protect the vulnerable, and at the same time, reopen the economy. President Trump was visibly uh, out of breath walking up the stairs in a video last night that you, that you saw and a lot of people could see. Um, as someone who's fought COVID, I know that breathing can be difficult. And sure. I mean, what do you think about, I mean, I don't know if you saw that video, but he definitely looked like he was labored. Um, by when you spoke with him, did he sound like he, it feels like he's on the road to recovery? You know, it, it really did. He sounded good. He sounded strong when I talked to him on the phone. Um, look, president is not the only person in the country who, after walking up a long flight of steps, feels a little bit winded. And, and there's no doubt, COVID is, is a serious disease. He told me on the phone, it felt like he had the flu. It was a serious flu. And, and so he's, he's obviously in the process of recovery. He's not, not suggesting that, that everything is magically cured, but, but it is a process of recovery. And he says he feels much better now than he did just a few days ago. So I'm encouraged by that. But, but of course, it'll be an, an ongoing recovery process.